to John Higgins. Of course, Dominic has... Thank you. I think the thing with this match, Mark, a lot of knowledge on display between these two. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, he's 66th. He's got to be in the top 64 at the end of the season for the World Championship. Higgins knocks that long red in. One. John Higgins. Finish. He's going to be playing again tomorrow. Perhaps it should be. But you know, all the players know how good he is, and uh, he's, he's you know, to do it. But in an ideal situation, you wouldn't really want to be doing that too often. Dominic Del. Accusing Dominic on the tour. I just had one made one. I think we were at the six feds in Thailand and uh, sold his collection eventually. Hang on there. Then. Obviously, heavily stacked in his favour, but they'll both remember that final. That Dale won because he was not expected to win 97 Grand Prix. In fact, that season there were eight ranking Seven. events. Higgins. Home because I guess you know, you almost feel like you're not going to work if you're not leaving the Seven. house. Getting distracted a lot of distractions and you just don't feel like you're doing it properly so I prefer to actually leave it's, it's a bit of a hard work is you know the practice and everything and, but whoever you are Fine. if you because he's that good you know he's only interested in winning tournaments and uh, because it'll be very competitive practice and also you know those guys hate losing in any environment so in fact a few years ago they did organize it you know, still around there is of Steve McGuire, Anthony McGill, Graham Dot, and there's a few others. So if it's those lot, that's um Well, just as he was going along nicely, he missed that black on thirty. Didn't fancy it. One each, that's on the Eurosport player. And this one obviously just getting going. One. To get the cannon. Yeah, he obviously feels it goes. Doesn't look like a physical. Just to say that uh, the maximum man, Neil Robertson. Wow. 
That's the problem with, with balls that are... Dominic Delph. Reds in the open, everything on really, it just lands on a colour. Well, if he pots the red, for that, that is first. Edgy opening frame all round. One. Dominic Dell, one. Much. One. Be a problem. Hey. This chance. I think the thing that Higgins is, even though people know he's been struggling a bit, you expect him to start to turn it on at any moment. Seven. I have the, something different about when you play them. I've got an awe about them, and it just. Sometimes this works for you, and it but makes you. You don't want to be, you know, all you want to be doing is punch. Well, Higgins has missed a few in this frame, but made the most of this final chance. Okay. So not a classic Four. frame of snooker, but John Higgins. Seven. Name up. Rankings. 32. Oh, got past the last. We've had some stinking draws as well. First round, Karen Wilson, Neil Robertson, Mark Williams in three different tournaments. And first round, that is. And of course, if you don't. Yeah, you could towards the pocket. Yeah. Yeah, you played it. Uh Dominic Dell, 42. Dominic Connor obviously wouldn't want to. Did I hit it? I have no idea. I think I hit it. Yeah. Be deceptive. Absolutely. I mean, Dominic would it, if. I know my eyes aren't what they used to be, but I'm pretty sure they didn't hit that red. Feather the feather the red, so it's a free's uh, decision that counts at the end of the day. Ready for a chat, very gregarious character. See, before he became a snooker player, he worked for the police force. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see him stay on for sure. And I think he's to. Be certainly a factor for all the players in that position. Alan McManus is in a similar spot as well.
to, to an esoteric reason to be in the history books, but he's there for now. <laughs> Meanwhile, the applause is for Neil Robertson, who has beaten Gary Wilson 4-1. Normally, best shot's nothing, but with that red up in bulk, he's got to be careful. He doesn't leave it if he misses the red. One. List. Stephen Hendry, 36, Ronnie O'Sullivan, 34. 40. Let's go. John Higgins, forty two. So, a bit unlucky from John, it was a really well thought out shot. Because to come off this side cushion, the other side. Parnamus. <laughs> Maybe get a snooker back. Too good, these boys. Professional levels. Oh, that's a kick he's got on the green. It's okay though. Fourteen. We won. And he's ultimately won this finish yet. He's trying a little trick shot. Foul. Yeah, bit of work needed on that one. But he's won the beaten by Zhang Ander. Jack Jones is also in the second round. Meanwhile, Dale has caught the blue. That used to be an advantage. One. Seven. I just have to play the red at the top. It's, it looks like I think he can. Really had to power that energy saw. Four. Up the 
table for the beds. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have his third on the all time list of century break makers. Break of the match so far. Fifty one. Okay, it's not been the best season, but it's not, not been a complete catastrophe. Got within a frame of winning the China Championship, just lost. Is this a confidence is all you know how you're thinking, this controls how you play at this game. He's another red off this blue. Stepped it up here, he's been aggressive and it's worked. That was a great, he's played it aggressively, really forced it in, it was a great shot. And all off Dominic's break, this was. Another result, Barry Hawkins, who was runner up to Higgins last year. Beat ben Wollaston for Saturday, we'll probably see him in the semis again. Well, the red stays out, but a fine the last match standing at the Welsh Open today, the last match of the second round. Barry Hawkins and Neil Robertson have won through this evening. Mark Williams. near the cushion and the one um, in line with it. Tournaments. One. Slope off, they're going to stick it out. By Dominic's reaction, I thought the bed must have gone into the middle. He looked pretty horrified at the outcome. Begins with a chance here, though. Referee keeping close watch on that green. with blues the 
chance. Fourteen. Focused. That makes him thirty-six. He's saying that he's totally focused at the moment. Okay. Yeah, he's taking these really well. He's done it needs a snooker. Higgins has been making the breaks. He made 80 in the last frame. This is another winning contribution. 70. 71. Joe Higgins, 70. So 80 and followed Frank. by 78 to go. Dale now 3 1 down. He sat out 78 in the last frame as well. Single. Play with quite a bit of side. Quiet, please. Do well to cut the pillow edge on. Joe Higgins one. Anonymous, Joe Higgins. Here we go then. Higgins so he's got to hit a red. Of the <laughs> All of the last frame, just about. Plus this frame, but he's in now. It's not advisable, really. 
41. Twice if he didn't hit it the third time, it would be in the frame. Yeah, and it made a difference. You can miss the next ball. Well, this red has to go in because there's one over a pocket. And it has done. Higgins yeah. has a chance here. I mean, times for Dominic to be fair from this position. Sweep of the game in terms of the killer clearances. I mean, Stephen Hendry obviously was. There's certainly no one better than uh, making the final a lot closer than perhaps it would have been normally. Morrow, he hopes to play two matches. Of course, two rounds are. Contested. Last 32 and last 16. With either Jack Lazowski or. Sack. You'd imagine it has to be a mental area. Fault. Going to need down to the pink. Dominic Dale will be aware of that. Oh, there's a lot of safety. Oh, he's missed the blue. He was a little high on it, but I think oh, everyone expected is. him to oh. pot it. Then John knew he should have been better on the blue. Knocks the pink in, which he has done. Wow, well, yeah. it was over, wasn't it? But. He One. Maybe with all those reds tied together. One. Dominic Dell one. shows the interest in snooker there is in Wales, there has been historically. White, as you can see, John Higgins, nothing and Anonymous, John Higgins.
Very sweet of you. Nice. Bad of tactical play. Concentration all night, so he just needs it. We rarely see that. But it's so frustrating when it happens because he's. It's built up over the last couple of decades. Post. I think that's right. He's done that. Am I right there, Dave? Is that right? Or this is match ball. Six this time. Two. He knew he would have to be against Dale. He's so experienced himself. And the difference in the end... He's played pretty well. Dominic Dale. And he's passed it. It's 11-2 now to Higgins on their personal head-to-head. -head. It's here last year when he beat Barry Hawkins in the final, 9-7. 78. Well, it doesn't matter about that. The match is over. That 78 was a fine break to win it. Warm handshake.